the calculation window has lots of utility functions that calculate harmonic values, all the harmonic values that Bruce Cathy has talked about in his books. We can calculate great circle distances, second coordinate, which is where you enter a coordinate, a bearing, and it gives you, and a distance, and it gives you where the second coordinate is. Measurement conversion, earth metrics, harmonics, uh, latitude discovery, harmonic tables. You can convert earth points to grid points and back and forth again, or you can calculate the sun position at a certain location and time on the earth. So let's say, let's choose great circle distance just to give you an idea. So let's say 45 degrees north latitude, 45 degrees west longitude. For the second point, we'll choose 40 degrees north latitude and 40 degrees west longitude. So you specify two coordinates of the opposite corners of a rectangle and then the software figures out the rest for you. So if you need a function to calculate great circle distances, chord distances, and relationships, you can use this function. Second coordinate is the same thing, except you enter a coordinate, a distance, and a bearing, and it will give you the second coordinate and the corresponding bearing for the second coordinate. Let's go to measurement conversion. This is just a utility tool that converts different measurements to other measurements. Let's go to um, harmonic conversion. We can calculate the mass to light or light from mass. Let's choose light from mass. We enter a excuse me, mass from light. We're going to enter a light harmonic. And in Bruce's books, he discovered that the theoretical maximum speed of light in free space was 144,000 nautical miles per grid second. So we're going to do 144,000. And we want to calculate mass from the light harmonic. So we've entered the light harmonic. And here's the corresponding math, mass harmonic that comes from the light harmonic. Let's go down and latitude discovery. If you enter a a harmonic, it will give you the corresponding latitude that's associated with that harmonic. Bruce Cathy discovered that harmonics of light, the speed of light, and gravity in the Earth's magnetic field vary with latitude on the Earth. Again, we'll choose the light gravity uh, value. Let's say we'll, we'll choose this one this time. We enter 143909.0655. This is the speed of light that's related to gravity. We'll say OK. And I didn't enter a correct value. Let's go down here and create light from mass. Light maximum, that's one I can remember. Let's do 144,000 nautical miles per grid second. And we'll find what latitude is associated with that. And that's zero degrees latitude. We have earth to grid coordinate conversion. We can convert earth coordinates to grid coordinates. You can, it's just a way of going from one system to the other. And we can go the opposite way, grid to earth. Sun position, if you need to calculate the sun position at a certain location on the earth at a certain time, you could use this function here. The theory, this, this goes through, this menu has a lot of functions that deal with the 
harmonic theory that Bruce talks about in his books, for example, the speed of light conversion, this function demonstrates the value of the speed of light, what it is at a latitude you specify on the Earth. And uh, this is in statute miles per second, and this is in nautical miles per grid second. So here's the grid units, and here's the normal units that they usually cite in physics textbooks. They also use uh, kilometers. We aren't working with kilometers here. Now, gravity light relationship. Here, you can enter a latitude and see what the value of gravity and light is here. And here, you can press the arrow keys here and vary the latitude, and you can see how light changes with respect to gravity. So, light and gravity actually have a reciprocal license. A relationship so as one increases the other decreases and then in his books he also talks about the grid polar squares these are the calculated point values for the grid polar squares the mass harmonic you can enter a light harmonic and it will calculate the la uh, the mass harmonic for you There it is right there. Mass harmonic by latitude. You can actually calculate mass harmonics by latitude. Entering a latitude, it will give you the light harmonic and the mass harmonic. And then the square root of light reciprocal. And here are the equations 1, 2, and 3 that he discovered. The energy harmonic will enter light. This is equation two, the difference in the magnetic field strengths. Here's the harmonic it calculates for that. And then equation three is the energy harmonic. We'll enter the same value for the speed of light, 144,000 nautical miles per grid second. And here's the value it calculates for equation three. And then you can calculate all the equations by a latitude. See, I can click the arrow keys or I can enter my own latitude, 34.5777980. I do that, and it will give me the harmonics for that specific latitude. And that's basically the map window. You can go to the settings and change. Uh, the startup window, whether you want to be the calculation window or the map window, depending on which area you work in. You can change the default settings for coordinate display, for the tracking display, how you move your mouse on the screen, or uh, some areas related to the uh, map when you're working with the map window. And then the toolbar just has some of the frequently used functions. Here's the magnetic field to gravity acceleration. Function. We put a, a latitude in, and it will calculate all the harmonics for that latitude. So basically, all the harmonic values that Bruce Cathy calculates in his books are covered in the map window side of the GridPoint Atlas software, and you can use them in your own research.